Modern Warfare 3 is out and you feel like your movement feels a little off, your aim is a little shit, don't worry, I got you. I'm about to show you the best controller settings right now, and they actually changed some stuff from the beta, and now there's a setting that makes your slide cancelling so smooth on controller, it's actually insane. So without wasting some time, let's get into it. Please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let's go. Alright, so starting off aiming input device, you want this on controller, if you don't have this on controller, you're kinda, you know, kinda a little stupid, man, I can't even lie, because this is a controller settings video. For button layout, you want this on bumper jumper tactical, reason being, because since this game has movement, Movement, this is the best control layout or button layout for movements without this doing movement is a hassle you have to play claw you have to do some weird shit you know what i mean we don't want to do that this is why i use bumper jump attacks but with this you can slide with your r3 and you can jump with your l1 so basically you never have to take your thumb off of the red stick and if you really want you could also flip it too right over here but i would not flip it personally i think it's perfect the way it is because the movement is just so good with it it's gonna take you about a week to get used to it but trust me it's so worth it you're gonna be so much better at the game bumper ping off of course this one's your choice right here stick layout preset default i don't know why you play anything else it just makes everything weird controller vibration turn this off this like gets in your way every time you're trying to shoot someone or do anything this is gonna get in your way it's gonna ruin you don't even let this one be on and for dead zone inputs here's what i have but it all depends on your controller so i would turn on this thing right here to test your z zone and then move your stick around and then see if it keeps moving when you let go of it so i'm gonna move my right stick around my left stick around and it's not moving but if you see i go all the way down to zero for both of them and then i do it you see how they're moving a bit you don't want it moving a bit that's why you want to like find the perfect spot with the lowest number you can put it where it does not move at all so that's like what i would do i would keep the left stick one lower than the right stick one though because left stick normally has less drift so you should be able to do that and the lower your left stick one is the faster like you'll quickly move and your movement will improve now horizontal stick sensitivity i've always kept it the same for like all the call of duties i've had it 15 13 that's like what i've liked all the time i've always found this very good but like i always say this sensitivity depends on you because you are the one playing you can't be taking someone else's sensitivity expect to do good that's not how it works so you're gonna find your own sensitivity ads sensitivity multiplier this is like currently locked because i have custom sensitivity per zoom on we'll get to that setting later so don't worry but basically if you have that on you can't change this one but you can change it per specific zoom now sensitivity multiplier over here this one i mean i don't really care about the tablet sensitivity air kill streak all this bs who plays third person as well vertical aim axis now this one don't change it it's useless again it's some useless random setting don't even worry about it now tactical stance sensitivity multiplied now this one is basically when you're aiming in from the side of your gun with the tax stance now i have this on 0 0.9 because i want it a little lower from the default which is one which is the same sensitivity as your normal sensitivity i want it a little lower because you're basically kind of aiming in so i guess it makes sense to have it lower but yeah, that's how I did it. Aim response curve time. Now this one is on dynamic. Now basically, this is from the previous game too. A linear, standard, dynamic. Dynamic has always been the best. It's always proved to be the highest sensitivity you can get. So yeah, this just makes your aim stick more on the enemy. And you want to make sure this is on the max. I kind of was just trying different things out. But this on the max works the best, I've noticed. But if there's any updates, I'll make a new video or I'll like say something. Don't worry. But basically this is what i believe is the best one ads sensitivity multiply on the focus so when you focus your gun when you like basically hold l3 to focus your gun the how much that sensitivity changes i just keep this default there's no reason to really change it when you focus and yeah ads sensitivity transition timing make sure this is instant do not have it on gradual or after zoom because if this is on instant you're gonna instantly switch to your ads sensitivity instead of it gradually switching which is kind of weird now here's the setting i was talking about custom sensitivity for zoom if you open this up here's what i have i have it for low zoom i have it this much for high, like the higher it goes the higher my sensitivity gets that's how i have set it i mean it all depends on how much you how you want to do it but it's all personal preference for sensitivity in my opinion of course target aim assist on and aim assist type on default this is like the best one you can choose default out of all of these because the rest of them are are like a lot worse than default this one normally cares because it's third person i mean if you play third person i apologize just just keep this on the default i mean who really plays third person now motion sensor aiming i have this off who's really trying to aim with like motion sensor all these advanced motion sensor i mean you can go ahead and turn this on and everything i mean i would not because you want to aim with your right stick and not 
moving your entire controller you're just gonna do a lot worse so now we can get to the gameplay which is most of the movement settings now this one's very important because they added a new setting that basically makes your movement like so much better the first thing automatic spin not automatic tactical spin you want this one to be automatic tactical spin because you know your movement's gonna suck suck if you have to turn on your sprint every single time it's gonna really suck so keep this one on and you don't have to worry about this setting then auto move forward off because you don't want to be moving forward automatically this one should be single tap run so that instantly you can single tap while running normally to start tactical spinning so you know how sometimes the tactical spin runs out while you're slide cancelling you can click your l3 button inside and you can start tactile spinning if it's ready ground and mantle on so that you can like mantle over objects when you click the jump button and automatic airborne mantle mat on partial so it only saves you from like dying it's not gonna automatically mantle over everything automatic ground mantle slash hang you want this off you don't want it to automatically start mantling over things that's like the worst it really ruins you you don't want that now this is the new setting slide slash dive behavior you want this on slide only not tap to slide or anything else the reason for this is when you're playing this game since they added diving and sliding when you click your r3 it gives you a little delay to check if you're gonna hold it or tap it and then it does the slide or it does the dive basically it slides when you let go of your r3 instead of right when you tap it but if you set it to slide only instantly it's gonna slide and it's gonna be so much faster the issue with this is you won't be able to dive anymore but it's worth it because diving is a lot worse than sliding and who really needs to dive when you can just slide everywhere you know what i mean but yeah this is very important it's going to improve your aim a lot make sure it's on slide only Changing underwater is on trigger but this one doesn't really matter because we have automatic tactical spin on so it doesn't really make a difference which one you choose but i just have it on trigger parachute auto deploy this one off make sure it's off so that you can deploy as slow as you want instead of it automatically deploying it pretty high up and then you kind of get screwed over Spin door bash on, of course, you don't want it to have to open every door. That's kind of stupid. Ledge climb behavior on mantle only so that you don't just move towards a ledge and then it will climb up. You don't want that one. You want it to, when you mantle onto it, then you do it. So it doesn't automatically do anything for you. Now this setting, slide cancel spin, you want this to be on. This is basically allowing you to slide cancel and stuff. Just keep this one on. Now some of the basic ones, ADS behavior on hold. Of course, you don't want to toggle between your ADS. Change zoom activation. This one doesn't really matter, but I just have this on spin slash tactical spin slash focus. That's what it normally is that's what we're all used to so it makes sense and we don't have to worry about this setting equipment behavior hold of course because you can hold your c4 or whatever it makes a lot more sense than toggling it weapon mount activation ads plus melee has always worked for me some people like double tap ads i recommend ads plus melee it works a lot better weapon mount exit delay you want this to be on instant because you can instantly exit your mount if you're ever mounting i don't know why you mount but if you're ever mounting you can exit fast and get back into fighting and stuff so yeah tactical stance activation i would keep this on double tap ads so that right when you double tap your ads button you switch to tactical stance. tactical stance behavior on toggle so that you can toggle between them it doesn't automatically switch for you it's Interact slash reload behavior now for this one i would do tap to reload on multiplayer but when warzone comes out i'll do prioritize interact I, i'm just gonna keep it on prioritize interact right now because i'm just used to how it is in warzone armor play behavior apply all of course you want it to apply all it gets swick stick swap off of course backpack control make sure this is on directional buttons it's not on stick if it's on stick you're just not going to be able to move while using your backpack that's kind of weird don't do that one we don't worry about this one and depleted ammo weapon switch on of course because it's the like we're already used to that when you run out of ammo it switches the gun quick c4 detonation on grouped this makes a lot more sense than one by one and the last setting manual fire behavior make sure this is on press and not hold hold makes some sense because you can automatically just hold the button and it will shoot your semi-automatic weapon but the thing is it shoots very slow so you want it to be on press so you can spam it as fast as you want and yeah the rest of the settings are useless and yeah those are the best controller settings for modern warfare 3 all right thank you for watching the video i hope it helped you out with the best controller settings if it helped you out leave a like subscribe and yeah i'll see you in the next one peace